Hey guys, and welcome to another Let's Paint. Today we're doing Commander Shepherds. This is obviously not the default Shepherd, and but it's just because it is a customized version that I play with. So let's get started. Um, right now I'm going to be doing all the base colors that need to be put on canvas. Um, I'm actually going to be putting um, different types of grays. And this is just so we know what or how the character looks so we can actually be doing all the cool shading later so right now I'm using a light tone over here for the chest and for the abdomen I am doing a darker um, gray and this is, I'm going to be using two different types of gray one slightly darker and then darker slightly kind of gray just so you know what the difference in the shading of the armor looks like. That way it doesn't look all the same. And I'm going to be switching back and forth from the main armor to the arms and legs of the armor of Commander Shepard. Just so you can see which one is how it's supposed to look like. Um, so we're going to be doing the arm. And as you see, I already put some shading on the top of the arm. So and I'll, I'll show you how to do the shiny looking stuff in the, uh, later in this video. So we're going to be doing the rest of the armor. We're going to be doing it. So and this is going to be a light type of gray. So again, so we can tell the difference between each part of the armor. Just so it won't look like just a blend of the same gray and you can't tell what is what. So we're going to be doing light, lighter gray and gray. So this is just going to be different types of gray. Uh, to achieve this you can either add white or add a black if you want it darker. So we're going to just keep on oh, I need some more paint okay and you need to get all this all this in and make sure it's all filled in okay and okay there we go oh, oh okay just make sure it's really really covered and done well because with paint sometimes there are some places that you miss and you got to make sure you get them all. Okay, so now we're doing this light gray and blending it with the other paint. Okay, we're going to be blending this. I use my finger. <laughs> That's just the way I do it. Uh, okay, so we're going to be now doing the outline for the chest. It's, gonna, it's a slightly darker gray. I just added more black, but not too much black. We don't want that. Okay, so now we're doing more of the detail on the armor. And for the abdomen, um, the outline for it, I'm going to be using black. Okay. So you see, and all that blending, it actually pays off and actually looks like armor, like metal. So that's good. So now we're going to be doing the shading. We're going to be adding white. And as you see, it's not like opaque. It's like really translucent. So to do that, you have to add water. So you get white and then just make sure to dunk it in water, but not too much because it will be all like liquidy and you don't want to be dripping on your painting. So. And we're just going to be doing the next armor. So yeah, so that's how you do a transparent looking kind of white on it. So now we're going to be doing the eyes. Yep. So we're going to be doing it just like a brush. Okay, and now we're going to be doing the face and we're going to be doing the shadowing on the face. 
we're going to be doing this with a slightly darker peach and for that we just add a bit of brown but don't add too much brown this is just so we can add the contour of the face so we just need to keep adding and making sure everything is incorporated okay as you can tell the right side is different from the left side and now we're going to be doing the eyebrows and I'm actually doing this as a toothpick just so I can get each individual hair on the eyebrows I'm going to be I'm doing the lips the same because it's really thick and now we're going to be doing the iconic colors on the side of her armor and so this is going to be red we actually have to go over that side more than once just because it doesn't it's not as dark as we need it to be now we're going to be working on the belt so we're going to be using this one color and we're just going to make sure to have that that shape so now we're actually just doing darker gray and now it's red And this is where we're going to be using different types of grays and whites. But you have to make sure to use, to know where your lighting is, just so it doesn't come out as neat. Just add a little bit more white. Lots of darker, I mean lighter. <laughs> I can't speak today. Okay, we're going to be using a lighter gray, and we're going to be using white at the moment, just so we can do well make it look like metal and not so much like white so yep that's this is all light gray so now we're going to be doing some slight white just so you can see the shine of the metal of the belt and we're just going to add a sliver of white just so we can make it believable that it is metal right there just slowly drag it okay and then we're just gonna bring it home <laughs> okay okay so now we're gonna be doing this other side of the armor on the on the part of her ad abdomen so right now we're just doing the outline in white and we'll be covering it up with black since not all the white is well you're not able to see all of it so we're going to cover it up with black there we go now we're just going to do the hair we're just going to put white just so I know where the hair is so I won't get confused since the background is black and so is the hair so I need to know where it is and now we did black and you can see the little out outline of white that I left behind. So now we're going to be doing the background. And if you're wondering what, uh, why is there smoke underneath that shepherd, it's because I thought it would look good. And I didn't like it so that's why I changed it later. That's why it's not on the thumbnail picture that I have so we changed that so don't worry about that you don't need to know how, to, uh, how I did the smoke since it's not on this image later but for now let's just do the planet behind her uh, we're gonna put white and we're just this is again the white trick that I that I said previously with the white and the water so I'm just gonna just keep on putting little spikes just so you can, you can see the atmosphere of the planet and then we're just going to be putting white well water and that, that's what gives it that transparent looking white that I'm putting on the canvas we're going to do and this is more darker white I'm not 
professional way, a more opaque way, because I didn't have the water on this part. And this is just so I can make it actually look more believable. I need the outline of the planet and lots of things to make little spikes of white. Just so you can see the air and that surrounds the planet. Or gas, it's gas that does the spikes, it does the planet. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna be it. I added water, I'm adding water right now, okay. So add more water and keep on. As, as I'm doing this, you can actually see where her hair and the background stands. So that, that's why I, I did this and, and stood with this. And as you see, it doesn't go with the smoke. Anymore, so that's why I had to change it since the it's too much to have the smoke and the planet. So uh, for now, we're gonna be doing um, the planet a little bit more better than what I have. So we're adding a lighter blue on this side too, using just a really really light blue. And now we're going to be doing a gradient of blue. And then we're going to be doing a slightly darker blue and then blending it right on the planet. Like so. Just keep blending. Okay, so we're going to be doing this one too. And since it's acrylic, it's drying as I'm doing this, so I have to move pretty fast to do this. Keep blending. Keep on blending. Okay. There we go. So you can see the how it's changing from a lighter blue to a darker blue. And now we're going to be putting a, no, a more, way more darker blue. And I'm going to be adding a little bit of black to achieve this. And it's going to come out like blue, grayish. But that's okay. We'll fix that. So we're going to be doing a light blue on this side too. And make sure not to get the armor involved. Cause, uh, it, and if you mess up and get on the armor, it's okay. You can go over it again. And accidents happen. <laughs> okay, so we're going to keep going. And I'm going to get darker, the gray, and we're going to keep mixing up, we're going to keep up on this side too, and yeah, so now we're going to add some, we're going to add some blue on it in, in a little bit. See how it, it starts changing. This is just so we know oh, um, it can look like the planet is coming out from darkness. That's why I did this way. <laughs> you know, kind of add a little bit of dramatics in my paintings. I don't know if you know. Okay, so we're just going to keep doing this. We're just going to keep blending. And that's what it ended up looking like. As I said, I changed the bottom and into the actual armor. And sorry that I couldn't keep showing you how I did the end of this process, but this video was getting way too long and I didn't want to make you guys watch all that. So, I mean, it's long enough. So thank you for watching. Um, more videos are coming up soon. And sorry that this took so long, but... Yeah, I'll bring you guys more videos, and again, thank you for watching. If you guys like this video or any of my other videos, please like and subscribe, and thanks, and I'll see you guys later. Bye!